<clears throat> Obviously, uh, you know, I think everyone's disappointed. Uh, but, um, you know, I'll say this. I think that team, uh, our team, um, it's one of the toughest teams I've probably ever been around. This team is fights like probably no other team I've ever seen. You know, we, we got to find a way to win. We got to find a way to kind of break through that that thing that's stopping us right now and, and smash that so we can get this thing going. But uh, you want to talk about a tough team. You want to talk about a team that fights. You want to talk about a team that's going to try to do everything they can to win. Uh, that's what we got right now. Uh, obviously, the, the goal is to win, and, and that's what we got to get. We got to get done, and we will. Uh, you know, we're building towards that, and we're working towards that every single day. But I think when you take a look at today's picture and see, um, you know, see us go out there with our third-string quarterback, um, that you know we got after training camp, and watch that team fight and rally behind somebody like that, I think you can tell how much all those men in that room care about each other, how hard they work for each other, how much they're trying to win for each other. And um, you know they don't really ever stop or they don't ever give up. So um, proud of those guys for that. Obviously, um, you know from my standpoint, I always want to do more. I want to help help those guys win. Uh, I got to do more. I got to you know just keep pushing that so that we can um, you know we can break that that thing that's stopping us right now and, and get going. And, and once that happens, I'm, you know I feel really good that you know we'll be there. But we've got a lot of good players out there. Uh, we've got a lot of good veterans. We've got a lot of good young players that are uh, getting a lot of playing time right now. They're improving and. Um, you know, we'll go back to work. Um, you know, I've said it all the time. We don't, you don't sign up for one. You don't sign up for two. You don't sign up for four of these games. You sign up for all of them. So we're going to go out and we're going to compete for all of them. We're going to work and we're going to grind it away. Um, appreciative of the fans, um, you know, their support today. Obviously, uh, very thankful, um, you know, for first, you know, my family, uh, the Ford family, this organization, uh, this city, and, uh, you know, all the support that we get. So I think that's important for us to, you know, remember, uh, obviously, today on Thanksgiving, just to be grateful for, for all that we have. So um, it's really it. You know, obviously, we're all disappointed about the game that we didn't win, uh, but I am proud of those guys. Now, you referenced something you need to smash through. I mean, the overall script has, has felt some, a lot of losses and losing it late. Yep. Do, do you have any sense of what that thing is that yeah. you guys play? I mean, I think a lot of it is, you know, it's obviously the, the – you know, tangible things are the mistakes. You know, in the game that we've got to eliminate uh, the the situations where we've got to be able to, um, you know, just push through and make a couple more plays uh, or coach a couple things better and get that cleaned up. But uh, you know, in the end, um, I think it's just that that situation where we we get one of those and that happens and the confidence that comes with it and, and all of that that takes off. Uh, been around a lot of teams, been around a lot of great teams, and uh, I certainly know in all those teams there's usually something that helps kind of break that and build the confidence, and, and we just haven't really had it yet, and then we're still pushing to get it. Just looking at your eyes, it seems like a pretty emotional game, emotionally game for you right Yeah. Now. I don't know if I'm reading that right, but can you just explain why you know, this is maybe it's what you just referenced to? Yeah. Um, you know, all the games for me are emotional. Uh, we put a lot into this, you know, especially in a short week, uh, you know, probably just grinding away, trying to do everything we can to keep it as normal from a game plan standpoint. So um, other than that, I mean, obviously, I just, you know, we hurt. We hurt as a team. You know, the players hurt, the coaches hurt, because we all just want to win, and we want to do it for each other. So uh, it's an emotional game. That's why I love it. That's why I tell those guys I love them, because, you know, when you're playing football and you're putting everything on the line every single uh, week, every single day to get better, um, you know, that's the greatest part of this game is, is knowing that you're in that in that situation with guys that care just as much as you do and, and hurt just as much as you do. And, and, um, you know, that's why we love each other, and that's why we do it. So, yeah, it's emotional, absolutely. Sort of what you're talking about, feeling good about the effort, <coughs> about the results. Um, well, I never feel good about the results when we don't win. So that's it's really two separate things, you know, for me. Uh, you know, the result is what it is, and that's what we need to address, and that's what we need to fix. Um, but I can still emotionally feel proud of the players for what they do. They put they put a lot on the line when they go out in that field, and uh, you know it's a dangerous sport, it's a violent sport, and um, you know it takes special men to do that every single week. So I can always uh, be appreciative of them for that. Short week for him. Just what you think of his performance? Yeah. Sure you guys stepped in there and make the scores. Yeah, I think you guys obviously got a glimpse of um, of him and, and just you know what uh, what we've all seen you know every single day his confidence his uh, his ability to go out and compete and uh, you know his focus and how much he loves this game and and uh, you know what he does. So um, you know never really any question from that standpoint. You know I knew it was going to be. Uh, exciting for him, exciting for us from that standpoint. And, uh, you know, he's he, he's a football player, just goes out and, and plays ball and works really hard at it and is really, um, you know, really 
works diligently to prepare himself, and he's been doing that all year, uh, just like Jeff did, you know, before when, when Matthew was playing. So that's why I said before, you know, I think maybe I talked about it maybe a couple weeks ago about that room and how hard that room prepares regardless of, you know, who's going out and playing, and I think you saw that uh, evident um, out on the field today. On Chicago's game-winning drive, yeah. the long reception on the sideline. Yep. Um, looked like he was really bobbling it as his yeah. body kind of on the sideline. Yeah. You get a lot of time to, to yep. think about that with the delay game. Is there a reason you didn't challenge yeah. that given the time? Uh, we were trying to look at all the different angles. You know, I actually was looking at the uh, the push-off. That was kind of the first thing that I saw, you know, because Justin was really right on him, and then all of a sudden the separation came. And, you know, I look at that as, because uh, I'm obviously, you know, on one side of it, but I look at that as, as extension or just kind of a little bit of motion. But they're really hard to see. They're hard to, you know, so I was just trying to see if that was part of it. And then the bobble, you know, we saw that going through. Couldn't get a real clean look of it. So, you know, look, those guys on the field, the officials, they do a great job. They work really hard and they see it. And um, so in that moment, we just, you know, we had to go with the calls. <laughs> Did anything about what Vlad did today actually surprise you? Was, you can see it in practice all you want, but it's like you didn't even see anything in a preseason game. Sure. Um, no, but I mean, you see college tape and the things that he did. You know, he had some pretty big games in college and stuff. So, um, you know, no, that's the thing. Like, none of that really surprised me today. No. One more uh, on, on your last field goal drive. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There, yeah. So yep. Just, um, kisses yeah. Kisses. Well, you know, there was a penalty to play before that, right? So there was a situation where we were trying to figure out exactly what the, the third down, down and distance was. So we had the personnel out because the clock was running. They were trying to figure out the spot and everything like that. So once, yeah, once we got all that organized and saw what it was, we just, you know, we didn't want to sub late. And we have a lot of confidence in JD. You know, he runs hard. He's, he's got a great uh, skill set. And it puts the uh, defense in a little bit of a bind as far as what exactly are we going to do with him on the field uh, as opposed to Bo, you know, in that situation. So, um, honestly, I, you know, guy made a great play. Um, I thought he was I thought he was out. You know, I thought he was going to go. But um, but that's really what happened on that play. It was just, you know, we were, the clock was moving. We were waiting for them to, to get it spotted and then made the decision once we had it out there. It was like we had a good personnel group out there. Let's go. Um, yeah, we were uh, obviously in a call there, um, trying to get after the quarterback a little bit, and a uh, little bit of a. It's a really a front side play, uh, what I would call out to the offensive right. That's kind of the primary read. Um, honestly, um, Slay and Justin, I think, were the two DBs over there. They did a great job of playing that play. Uh, it was really a very specific deal, and then that's a late leak coming out of the backside that uh, the quarterback found late, and you know we just we got to get on it. Did you give thought to like the fourth down, either one of the situations? Um, yeah, you know, we go definitely go through all those scenarios and the situations and kind of, um, you know, some of those, one of the drives, I think it was a lot of um, back and forth through the drive as far as, you know, penalties and things that were good and things that were not good. So we was trying to just make sure that we got the points, which we knew was going to be important. Okay, going back to the decision-making on the And the what? Um, well, we're trying to obviously do everything we can to, uh, you know, to win. And, and uh, they got a great returner. They got a great return game. You know, it's top in the league. Um, they got a great punt return too. You know, so we knew we have two problems, uh, special teams wise, that we're going to have to deal with. And um, you know, they they had some really good returns out there. And, and uh, obviously, it's a great player. So um, just you know, situation trying to get a little bit of a different kick. So. Can you talk a little about the snaps through the you're basically the Super Bowl for this season. Why has that not happened? Because you're talking all about how tough they are. Sure. But why then has yeah. that not registered? Well, I mean, I think it's kind of like what I answered earlier uh, for Justin. is kind of, you know, you can obviously go back to some of the things that uh, that we have in the game that we've got to do better, uh, whether it's things that we're doing to hurt ourselves, uh, execution, coaching. Uh, it's kind of, you know, gone through that. But I think a big part of it, too, and I think maybe Tim asked it, was just the, um, you know, at some point we got to get one of those and we got to get one of those wins and build that confidence and feed off that confidence and go. And, um, you know, that's, that's what a lot of teams do and that's what the teams that I've been around do. And we just, we haven't had that, you know, they haven't had that moment yet and we're still trying to search for it and get it. So in the meantime, we're trying to do everything we can to, um, you know, coach through it, play through it and execute it until it happens and, and we go from there. But, um, you know, it's really, it's really it. Two more questions. too late in the season for that to happen, considering what your goals generally are with the playoffs. Um, I mean, you know, my goal is, you know, they're one week seasons and we try to win. So, I mean, you know, that's that's what we're going to try to do every single week. Trubisky had a, another really good game. That's, that's two pretty good games against you. He's largely struggled this season. Yeah. Is, is that the same thing about your defense? Just nah, I mean, I don't, I'm trying to remember the first game. I'm not exactly sure. I don't think he threw for. Three touchdowns. Yeah, but I don't know how many yards did he have there. Yeah. Um, 
I mean, look, he's a good player, right? You know, he makes some good plays and, and obviously made some great plays against us. So uh, we got we to gotta do better than that, you know, to get off the field. But um, from that standpoint, I mean, guys started a lot of NFL football games for a reason. You know, he goes out and he plays hard. So they rally around him and they do a good job. You know, give Coach Nagy credit and they do a great job. Last question. How do you spend your weekend? I mean, if you have a meeting schedule, this is forward, are you working, are you home? What do you do? Um, yeah, we, the football season's rolling, so we gotta, you know, we'll go back to work and do all that. I'm you know, um, obviously very blessed and thankful for my family, so I need to spend some time with them, take a little bit of it, and have some dinner or something. But uh, we'll go back to work. Last one, guys. Yeah, earlier in the week we talked about this being a process and uh, an opportunity to build. Have you been given any assurances that you're going to have that opportunity in year three to actually build? Um, I mean, again, for me, it's it's we're just pushing forward every you know every single step of the way. So um, you know, go back to work next week and, and try to do a good job of, of building on this week, and you know, try to go win everything we can. We got a big one coming up. Uh, Minnesota, obviously, is a big game. So, but okay, all right, thanks. Thanks.